Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Nicole. This is part two of my guide on how to update your firmware for Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro from version 200 to 300. This should work also with version 400 and 500, but I'm only using the 300 because that's the only firmware that I have right now. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned that the purpose of this is to upgrade your SSD speed from 1,800 megabytes sequential read to maybe 3,000, give and take. So I'm already going to the BIOS. I already prepared my USB drive. Okay, and I'll show you how to go to the BIOS screen and what are the setups that you have to, to do. Okay, first you have to shut down your laptop and wait for it to close down. And you have to insert your USB thumb drive to the first, to the topmost upper left port. Okay. When you turn on your laptop, all you have to do is keep on pressing and hitting F2 so that you'll be able to go to the bio screen. Now, I already set up a user password for my, my BIOS. So let me just put it in. Okay. So all you have to do is to go to the security. Make sure you set up a supervisor password. I already did mine. Okay, so please do so and put it, put it aside for your own safekeeping. A supervisor password is used to lock your BIOS in case there's somebody who wants to tamper with it. And you go to the secure boot mode, you make sure that you, you check disabled initially it will be enabled you check disabled okay and you have to clear all your keys reset system to setup modes okay clear all your keys okay and you go to boot ensure that usb boot mode is enabled okay okay and you can check if your usb is detected you can see here the USB, the, the USB drive that we made in the previous video. Okay, so you don't need to move this one because we can go to the boot menu later on and click on F10 to save and exit. Before we go to the to the next screen, once you press F10 and save and exit, you have to press F12 to enter the boot selection menu. Okay, so that you'll be able to find your USB and you can be able to boot from there. Okay, so we hit F10, exit, and again, remember to hit F12 once it reboots. Keep on pressing F12, 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 keep on pressing F12. Okay, so you can see here, you have the Windows Boot Manager and the USB disk drive that we made. So click on this one, it will boot on the screen. All right, now this is the scary part. Okay, we have to let it load a little bit. When you get to the, when you get to the FS part, okay, so you have to type in some commands to ensure that be able to use the files inside the USB drive. Okay, the first one you need to type is Press, type unlock me. Okay, unlock me. To unlock the BIOS, this will boot again into Windows, but there's a high chance you won't be able to log in. Okay, so just shut down. Okay, you will boot back to Windows, but you won't be able to log in. So just shut down the PC once you get there. Okay, let's wait for it to load. So you have to repeat and go back to the to the F12 boot menu. Okay, we already type in unlock me. Okay. So it seems that there we will be able to log in. So all you have to do is 
just go to where's my mouse uh, hold on okay shut down again the computer shut down okay now once you shut down you have to turn it on again okay And again, hit F12 so that we go back to the boot menu. Okay, let the USB boot up again. Okay. Okay. So there, are, let me just. Okay. Then the next command that you need to type in is flash. Flash. Now, this will take a while. So do not turn off your computer, nor unplug it. Do not move it, and take a deep breath. <laughs> Let it finish. Okay, so it will flash. It said do not remove the power. Allow it to finish. Okay. Oh, update BIOS failed. All right, let's do it again. Turn on and hit F12 to boot from the USB drive. Okay. You have to let it boot there. Let's try again. Typing. Unlock me. Okay, let's type in unlock me. Unlock me. It should boot. Now, if you encountered the error a while ago, what you can do is, once you type in unlock me, do not let it boot to the Windows. So hit F12, F12 again to let it boot from the, to let it boot from the USB time drive again. Okay. So hit F12. Go to the, the edge. Let it hopefully this time it will work. Okay, I'm doing this for the first time, so what you see, all the problems that you encounter, I'll also be encountering it as well. So once you get back to this screen, you have to type in the word flash just as we are supposed to type in a while ago but when we encountered the error okay so type in flash hopefully it should work okay hopefully it should work okay you have to let it finish the flashing hopefully it will work let's see Okay, it's working, it's running, it's doing the flashing now. Do not turn off the, the computer at all costs. Do not remove it, remove, or hopefully there's no power, power failure, and do not remove the power supply. Okay, let it finish. Take a deep breath. Hopefully everything would work. Okay, it will, be begin, it will begin flashing. Let's wait for it now 75 percent hopefully everything should go smoothly so you have to be, be patient and let it finish until we and then it will boot into windows finally now one of the things that you might encounter that fingerprint if you set it up before it might not work again no longer work so you just need to type in your passwords to log in but after that you can you can Reset your fingerprint passwords. Okay, so it is rebooting. Fingers crossed, everything should work properly as instructed. Now, it's rebooting. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, there you have it. It's booting. 
and let us see if we'll be able to get to the login screen so I'll try my fingerprint okay so my fingerprint is not working so go into sign in options okay we can currently have a Microsoft account so we try that all right so we are in okay so we're back to the screen so let's check out I'm very pleased to tell you that I run the Bellarc advisor and as you can see it's already now at 300 so the firmware has been updated okay and this is my previous result for my crystal disk mark and I ran the crystal disk mark again so as you can see from 1845 to 3055 that's a considerable speed bump of my read speeds and so the other figures also in increase a little bit okay not not that high as this one the sequential read but still it's already good for me now what you have to do next is to re-enable the secure boot we had disabled it before so all you have to do is go back to the previous steps that we we did go back to the bios okay where is that go back to the bios and repeat step number three okay so press f2 enter the bios enable the secure bot secure boot and do the uh, at least to protect your system again uh, it will shut down and restore now optional you can log into your pc and right click on the menu go to the accounts and remove your fingerprint and re-enable your fingerprint and so that you'll be able to use your fingerprint scanner and if you want you can also update some of the drivers okay so samsung drivers are here okay the nvme drivers the intel and ME driver and Wi-Fi driver chipset driver okay so so that to make sure that it's everything is up to date so there you have it guys I we have successfully updated our firmware stay tuned for our, my next video and let's see there's one more video that I'd like to do is to how to tweak and overclock your CPU and GPU again courtesy of tech tablets so if you want if you're interested to find out more uh, let, uh, let let me just give you the link this is that this is the website so you can check out the website and there's many articles here that you can try and again kudos to them for discovering how to do this and teaching us how to do this and if you like my video if you have if, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below I'll leave the instructions, this one, my checklist, everything, in the description so that you can follow it, hopefully step by step. Now, in, my, in, in, the, in the previous clip, remember to, when, once you type in unlock me, once you type in unlock me, it will restart. Do not let it go to Windows, okay? Just keep on pressing F12 so that it will go again to the boot menu and select on the USB and before you type in the word flash or else you will encounter the error that we had a while ago you'll see that in in the previous clip uh, in the previous section we had an, an error and we had to redo some of it and luckily the fix is very easy and we'll be able to flash flash it successfully all right so there you have it guys thank you very much for watching my video i hope it helped you in your xiaomi mi notebook pro update so again, you don't have to do this if you already if you bought the Mi Notebook and the firmware is already up to date. But if it's still in version 200, you can update it using this method. And I found it very successful. So give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And subscribe for future videos on tech, gadgets, food, and whatnot. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.